Okay. So the next question that we have on the menu today is asking us, well, we have two point charges, one that's 30 nanocoulombs, one that's negative 40 nanocoulombs. And they're both held on the x-axis, um, with the 30 being at the origin and the negative 40 being at 65 centimeters along. A particle with a charge of 42 microcoulombs is released from rest at um, 28 centimeters. If the initial acceleration of the particle is 150, uh, I mean, three, 135 kilometers per second squared, what is a particle's mass? Okay, this is a very fascinating question. I actually very like this question. Um, as we should start this off, as we should start many situations, we want to have a diagram to kind of give ourselves like a visual representation of what is going on in this question. Okay, so here we have x equals zero. Oh, let's just get our locations of interest at first. Um, and then we have 65 centimeters as a location of interest. This is absolutely not to scale, but it's not that important. So 0 0.65 meters is another way to write that out. Is In my opinion, it's... um. A little bit safer to write um, our distances in base SI, so convert your centimeters into regular meters. And we know that um, our other location of interest is 28 centimeters. So that's about halfway, slightly closer to the zero. So let's call that 0 0.28 meters. Okay, and here we have a charge. Let's call this Q left, QL for Q left. And that is 30 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. 10 to the negative 9 is the same as nanocoulombs. Um, here, let's call this QR because it's to the right of us, or to the right of the thing of interest. And this is negative 40 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. And in the middle, uh, we have a particle and let's call this QM for Q middle. This could be, uh, it's given by the question is 42 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Okay, the reason I did negative 6 instead of negative 9 for the power is because, um, well, we have micro coulombs instead of nano coulombs. Okay, so that, that's a, a big difference maker. And we know that it is has an initial velocity or an initial acceleration um, of 135 kilometers per hour. So, so acceleration is equal to 135 kilometers per second squared, which is equal to 135 times 10 to the three uh, meters per second squared. And since it's positive, um, it's going to be going in the positive x direction. That means towards the uh, the right, which makes sense because um, we know that the left charge and the middle charge have the same sign, so they're going to try to get away from each other. Assuming QL is fixed, that means QM is going towards the right and it's getting attracted to the right as well. So, you know, that's the only way that it could work. So, um, pretty much what this is... What's going on here is um, let's color code these. So if this if this one is uh, is that color, like pinkish, this has to be applying a force this way. So repulsive force, and maybe if we have a different color, maybe like uh, blue, this one is going to have a force this way, attractive force. And that is purely and only because of the um, the signs, okay? And um, opposites attract, like, um, same sign, get away from each other, okay? So it's a nice, easy way to remember this. So we know that our force net, our F net, is equal to our mass times acceleration. Acceleration, well, we just calculated, or I mean, it's given as this. This is what we're trying to solve for. 
and we know that our net force is going to be equal to our force contributions from both of these two, the two points, um, individually. Okay, so to represent that, we can call that FL plus FR. So the forces as caused by the left charge and the right charge. Okay, so we know that the electric force, uh, let's do this a different color, maybe green. So the electric force equation we know is KQQ over R squared. Um, K is 9 times 10 to the 9. Q and Q are charges. And R is distance of separation. Okay, so this is going to, um, this equation is what we're going to use for both of the FL and the FR. So uh, let's sub that in and see what it looks like. So instead of writing F at net, I'll just write MA because we know that they have to be the same. And here is going to be K Q L Q M over um now, it's going to be the separation distance between them. It's going to just be 28. That's the stiff, uh, separation distance between QL and QM. So it's 28 minus 0, fairly straight uh, forward. 0 0.28 meters. We've got to square that, don't forget it. Plus K Q R Q M. And. Um, we have to find the distance of separation between uh, 28 centimeters and 65 centimeters. So that is 37, I believe. I'm gonna just gonna double check that because I can't always trust my math. 37 plus 28, 65, okay. So that will be 0 0.37 meters on the bottom. Meters squared. And um, what we can do here is, since we're trying to isolate this, uh, we can also factor out um, the K and QM. Factor out QM and K, because they're the same. So here, to isolate that, we'll have, whoops, we're not isolating A, we're isolating M. we are going to have uh, K and QM factored out A, uh, when we isolated M, well we just divide both sides by A, and then here we're going to have QL over 0 0.28 meters squared plus QR over 0 0.37 meters squared Okay, so uh, subbing in the numbers, we get 9 times 10 to the 9, that's our K value, our QM, so that's our middle charge, that's going to be 42 um, microcoulombs, 42 times 10 to the negative 6, all over our acceleration, and our acceleration is 135 times 10 to the 3 um, of meters per second squared. I'm not going to write the units because, um, well, it, it gets quite long. Our left charge is 30 times 10 to the negative 9 over 0 0.28 squared plus our QR now our QR is originally given as negative 40, but since we have our directions um, in here, we're just looking for the magnitude, so I'm going to put in a positive value, not because this is a positive charge, it's because we already have the signs incorporated into the, um, into the diagram, so we're, we're not going to incorporate them into our um, calculation here. Okay, so it's going to be plus 40 
times 10 to the negative 9 over 0 0.37 meters squared. Okay, so let's uh, calculate this out. Asking my handy dandy calculator. 9 times 10 to the 9 times 42 times 10 to the power of negative 6 divided by 135 times 10 to the 3 multiplied by 30 times 10 to the power of negative 9 times 0.28 to the power of negative 2 plus 40 times 10 to the power of negative 9 times 0.37 to the power of negative 2 and uh, my result for this calculation is in the microgram scale yeah exactly so uh, my mass here it is calculated to be pretty much the same value so my I got 1.8894954 times 10 to the negative 6 kilograms and from our original question um, these have one significant figures so uh, our final answer is going to need to be one significant figure one sig fig so our m will just be two times ten to the negative six kilograms another way that we could say this is um, two milligrams okay because um, 10 to the negative 6 uh, times 10 to the neg times 10 to the 3 is 10 to the negative 3 because the kilo turns into a 10 to the 3 so it becomes 2 milligrams okay so this is the mass of particle happy face okay so um, our calculation here is good and um, this solution is good so wasn't this a fun time uh, once you the al the hard part is really doing the algebra. Once you do the algebra good, um, it's just uh, ask your calculator, and that's fairly straightforward. So yeah, just uh, j start off with the diagram. Once you got the diagram, everything else should be smooth sailing, smooth sailing. Okay, cool. So this solution is good. It's good. Oh man, that was the last question. Ain't that unfortunate. Time flies when you're having fun. So those are all the questions that we had for today. If you enjoyed today's Q&A and would like to be notified of when we do this next, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell below. If you would like to submit your own questions, we have video links in the description where you can help, uh, where we can help you accommodate that. Remember to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video, and if you really enjoyed the video, share it with your friends. This has been Millen from One Class. I hope today was a fun physics time, and I hope you have an amazing day or an amazing evening, depending on what time you're watching this. And remember, physics is always a good time. Always trust the physics, and the physics will trust you too. Okay, take care and stay safe. Thank you.